Hello and how's it going? This video is just going to be going over the proxy mesh and material variation generation um, for the procedural sedan vehicle assets uh, that I have up on the marketplace. And this tutorial will be pretty much the same for all of the other vehicles I release. Um, so there is PDF documentation, page 14 to 16, that you can go and read to get a full guide on what you need to do. And there's also just the quick eight steps that walk you through how to do this as well. And this is just a video guide uh, for those who prefer something a little bit more visual to follow along to. So we've got the vehicle in here and uh, I'm assuming by now you've watched my videos and you know what the proxy meshes are for. They're the single draw call um, and we just need a way to be able to generate the new textures. So if we go into textures, you'll see we have all our normal textures and then in our proxy mesh, we have our proxy textures and everything is kind of just all crammed on together if we have a look there and they are all exactly the same but just different colors so if you make a new material variation and you also want to have a proxy mesh that matches that new material variation this is what you need to do so we can go to our materials and say we want to make a new mossy variation so we duplicate number six or number five um, for number six and we'll open that up now so we've got um, a new exterior moss variation 06 and we're going to just pick out a new paint job for something that we like I like this light blue here so we want to make a variation of this now that we can use in the proxy mesh so to do that all we need to do is go to Windows developer tools merge actors now it's important you do not change the transform of this vehicle because the transform sort of works like a seed for the UV map. If you change the uh, the transform, the uh, the UV map that's generated is going to be different. So we go to the second act, um, the second tab here, and you can see it's all default settings. And we just click merge actors, and we'll go up the top here and just click save. So this is going to generate a few different files for us. It's going to generate a new static mesh, um, which is going to be the proxy mesh. And it's also going to generate a normal map, a base color, and a material. So the only thing we need to keep from this is the base color, because we've already got a proxy mesh, we've already got our material set up, and we're just using a single normal map. So we'll delete these. And uh, also that vehicle there. So we're left with this extra texture. So if we drag this over to the proxy folder, we now have a sedan 06. Now if we open up number one and we open up number six, you'll see that the UV maps are exactly the same. And that's why we only use one normal map because the normal map is not changing um, despite the fact that the colors are cha colors changing. Uh, so we only need one of those, it just makes everything just a tiny bit cheaper. So that is how you generate the new proxy mesh texture. So now we need to make the new material and we are good to set it up then. So we can close this window now. So in our Mossy we now have variation 06 for the exterior. And now we are also going to make a proxy mosh variation 06. Now the numbers don't matter at all, but it's nice to keep them in order, so I recommend doing that. So we go and change that one to number six now, and we can test this out quickly to make sure it works if we like, make sure that the UV maps are the same. So if we go to meshes, sedan, static, and we open, open up the sedan proxy mesh, all we need to do is bring out MOS 06, and we can see we now have a light blue proxy mesh variation of the car, which is gonna be super cheap and uh, super easy to set up. So the last step, We've set up the materials, we've made the textures, uh, everything is ready. We just need to add it to the blueprint now if we want it to randomly generate. So if we open up BP underscore interactable and we go to spawn settings, material options, and really simple, inside the body mossy variations, just add a new array element. You can also remove them, um, it doesn't matter. You can have as few or as many as you like. So we'll go and add number six there. And then we also go to the mossy proxy variations and we'll add a sixth one here. So it's important that the material variations and the proxy material variations line up. They have to have the same index because that's how the code is going to link them together. If they're in different spots to each other, um, you might have some discrepancies. So that's why we have the new variation number six in slot number five. And we're going to put the new proxy mesh that we generated as well, 06 down here. 
So now if we go to one of our demo maps, we'll go to interactable here. We won't save the level. Okay, so now when we're randomizing this, and it might take a few attempts, just give ourselves more vehicles, more odds. And let's randomize these vehicles. So boom, straight away we've got one of the new paint jobs coming up. And if we select this vehicle and we change its proxy distance to a thousand and press play, we'll see that when this proxy mesh swaps out, it's going to swap out with the correct colored proxy mesh. So uh, these are going to match at a distance, they're going to be consistent throughout your level, and you can do this for as many variations or as little variations as you want. Just make sure that the indexes of the, uh, the two different arrays line up and the code will figure out everything else. You do not need to do anything. So yeah, I hope you guys find this helpful and I'll have some more tutorials coming out about how to use uh, these vehicles in your project in different ways very soon. Thanks for watching.